Hey guys, if you guys are wondering where I'm at right now, I'm actually in my tent and I've had it planned for such a long time now to actually film videos in here. I never got the chance to do it up until now. I was going to film it last night like during the night time because I feel like that would have been creepier, but it ended up storming and lightning and I just did not think that it was safe so I decided to do it during the day instead. Uh, so I'm sorry if you guys hear any distractions such as birds, cars, whatever, uh, but I really wanted to film this video for you guys. It's not going to be the only video that I'm going to film in here. I am going to film some other videos in here as well. This is going to be about an urban legend in California called the Charman. It kind of has the campy vibes to it because it is on a campground, I believe, so I thought that it would be perfect to film inside of my tent. So yeah, I hope you guys can see me good. I hope that there's no like glare or anything like that, but yeah. This legend is from California and it is based in Oja Valley, I believe. I, I hope I'm saying that right. It's O-J-A-I. Oja? I don't know. I, you guys know I'm horrible at pronouncing stuff, so I'll leave the name on the screen and I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. In Camp Comfort Country Park. According to the story, a burnt man is supposedly supposed to come out and torment hikers and attack cars. He is known as the Char Man. And the reason why they call him the Char Man is because his face and his body are burnt to a crisp. Could you just imagine driving somewhere to a campground and all of a sudden this guy that looks like he's been burned alive starts walking towards your car like I don't know what I would do if I were in a situation like that I'd be pretty freaked out so like many other urban legends there are many versions of the tale but they all start the same way so one version of the story goes that a man and his son were killed in a wildfire in 1948 so the father was killed but the son had survived and when the rescue team showed up the next day they found that the son had hung his father up on a tree and had tore his skin off of him. I mean, they don't know for sure if the son is the one who did it, but uh, many people believe that the son was the person who skinned his father, which is very disturbing and disgusting. Uh, but he ended up disappearing into the woods if it was him, and they never caught him again after that. Another version of the Charm Man story goes that a husband and his wife were caught in a wildfire and the man had been hurt and injured to the point where he could not move and he couldn't save his wife who was screaming out in pain for help. He couldn't save her because he was injured himself and he couldn't move. So they both died in the fire. Regardless of which version of the story is true, a lot of people believe that if you drive onto the bridge next to the park, the char man will come. He will run to you and attack you and try pulling off your skin. Oja, California, I hope I'm saying that right. I seriously feel like I'm not saying it right. But this area where this urban legend is based off of is known as a very strange place. Apparently it's a mix between country and it's filled with longtime residents who have lived there for quite a while and it's right next to Hollywood which makes it even more strange because <laughs> it's got country vibes but it's also next to, you know, Hollywood. And it's described as a beautiful place with trees and a hiking trail. So this area is very hot and it's very prone to wildfires and it's actually one of the driest parts of the state. This was kind of like put together last minute because I really wanted to film a video out here and I didn't get my tent up until last minute so um, yeah just kind of bear with me. There was a fire back in 1948 and it burned a large part of the valley. Some families had to wait days before the authorities were able to come and save them which is really sad. So supposedly in the hills there was a man who lived with his son in a cabin and they kind of kept to themselves. They never really talked to people. It is possible that when the fire came around that people forgot about them because they kept to themselves. They never talked to anybody. Uh, so they forgot about them up there which is kind of sad in my opinion. But their cabin was right on the path 
for the blaze right in the path of the wildfire. Their home was consumed by flames and they were both burned to death. The father died, but the son survived barely, and he was very unrecognizable as a human. Like, you could not tell who he was. You couldn't even tell that he was a human being. That's how burnt he was. His skin was completely fried, and smoke was just rising from his body. But nevertheless, he was alive. He survived that fire, even though his father, unfortunately, did not. I don't know if it's true, you guys. I mean, some people believe that the story isn't true. Some people believe that it is. But due to the circumstances, knowing that this poor boy had survived and his dad didn't, and that was his dad, you know, it kind of made him go crazy, as I'm sure it would make anyone, and his mind kind of snapped. And no one really knows what happened after that. Like I said, nobody really knows for sure if it was the son or if it was someone else. Many people believed that it was the son who did this. But when the firemen arrived the next day, they witnessed a very nasty, gruesome scene. The boy's dad had his skin completely gone from his body. Somebody had skinned him alive, and his body was just hanging limp, dead from a tree. The police searched everywhere for the person responsible, but they could not find anyone. When suddenly, the charred boy came out from their cabin and he just took off. His flesh was so burnt and nasty, like I said, he was like completely fried and smoke was just rising from his body. But he took off and they never seen him again after that. That was the last time anyone had seen him. Uh, but the police were too busy gagging at the smell of what they had just witnessed that they weren't able to catch him in time. But people say that the Charman is still out there somewhere searching for people's skin. <sighs> like driving or walking along this like camp hiking trail and then all of a sudden this like burnt person, this person that doesn't even look like a person that has like no skin just comes walking towards me you know like I honestly do not know what I would do uh, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a big old thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not already and become a morbid maniac also leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the Charman urban legend if you live in the area is there anything else that you know about this story that I might not have mentioned in the video feel free to leave me a comment and let me know also, what would you do if you came across the Charman and he was trying to get your skin? So yeah, let me know and I will see you guys in the next video. Looking deeper into the story of the Charman, there was a fire back in 19...